Well, hello and welcome back. Export 12 from today. Well, we're just going to be playing a bit of a game called Super Liminal. So, why don't we just start a new game and get right into it? See how it is, because I heard good things about this and I've can't be wanting to play this for a bit, so. Give this a go here. Are you filled with feelings of self doubt? Oh, no. Do you find yourself prone to minimizing massive dilemmas or for allowing the smallest problems to get blown completely out of proportion? Maybe. At the Pierce Institute, our patent pending somnoscope technology Ooh. provides safe and effective dream therapy while you rest in the comfort of our flight. That sounds very really nice. Located right next to the secondary overflow parking lot at the University Medical Center. Somnoscope. We'll make your dreams come true. Ooh. Now, if they deliver on that promise, that sounds nice. Oh, wait. That's only Brian. Huh. What's this paper here? Oh. Just said right. Sign the terms of service. Okay. Yeah. Very sterile room. Let's get out of here. Perception is reality. That's bigger than it was before. That just makes it massive. Hmm. How big can I make this? Whew, that's got some serious weight behind it. I can make that quite a bit smaller. Oh, there's a rook there. Can get past this and then. Nah, it's too big. But what if we shrink it down? Hey, yeah, well, there we go. Nice, just jumping over it. Terms of service accepted. Congratulations on falling asleep. Welcome to Somnasculpt. Your progress may be monitored by qualified specialists. Okay. This orientation will adapt you to eyelids, our interactive, lucid induction dream state in which you retain full consciousness and control. Okay, so I need to get up there. Hmm. Cool. It's fairly simple. Nice. It's very simple. Ah, oh, so if there's an object, I can't actually get through there. Cool. So how am I meant to... Nice. That's fairly simple. Just had to pick up from the next room over. Oh, over there. There's the exit. I need this to be a touch bigger. No, it's probably big enough. Oh, cool. I didn't think I was going to be able to make that jump. But we did. Wait, that is not a wait. Confirmed. You can move freely. Let's just paint the ground. Objects and listen to messages from wow, that is. Care team. Please note that I am the standard orientation protocol, hmm. and that my voice has been explicitly chosen to remind you that I am not a part of your patient care team. I do not care. I think some of these puzzles are fairly simple. Just take it from one room to the next. But these are just the introductory puzzles, so. Yeah, but. So you get mind altering. 
Ooh, there's some cheese here. Maybe I need to use this as a wedge to get up here. Perfect. Wait. Now it needs to be a bit further back. There we go. That sounded a bit better and right sized. During eyelids, you will lose the ability to awaken suddenly due to realizing that this is a dream. Oh, so clocks. I have already informed you that this is a dream. You did not wake up. Nice. Please complete the remaining orientation activity. That's a big old ball there. And it's a tiny button. It's a bit too big, so we need to shrink this down a touch more. That's not a very weight sensitive button there. Wait, what's through here? Dream soda. Ooh, can we get one? Hmm. Warning: You have deviated from the orientation pathway. At the Pierce Institute, patient safety is a key. Let's go for random soda. Corporate priority tetrahedron. A variable degree of force can and will be authorized to ensure patient safety. Please return to the orientation pathway. Well, I suppose I better go back. Got some random soda though. How far can we take this one? Ah, oh, no, I can't take it through. Wait, that's a broken window. That looks like the button is down there. Let's shrink this down so we can... Maybe a bit more. So we need that to fit. And they're perfect. It's all part of the plan. All environments perceived during eyelids should reflect a typical mental state. Hmm. If you believe your mental state was compromised by Somnasculpt, please provide a comprehensive, rational explanation in your post-procedural survey. Completed surveys may be eligible for a gift card. So, somehow I need to bring this... Through here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's no roof. Phew. Yeah, there's no roofs in this. It's just a wall, so that makes sense. Hmm. That's a night. I've got apples in there. Oh no, we've got these sorts of things. Showing you that path's not going to be very Newtonian. Newtonian. Wait. Do the different buttons open? Okay, I have no items. But we can take this off. <laughs> Use that to open that one. No, no items in there. Maybe I need to make it big enough to be able to press both buttons. Maybe. Yeah! We only had one iron, but we can make that really big. <laughs> it's the scale of some of these are. Insane. Recognition on your completion of the Somnasculpt orientation. You did it. Yay. To maximize the time allotted for your therapeutic journey, please do not delay in proceeding through the final doorway as indicated. Sure, won't delay. Wait. There's no door there. I'm meant to get out. Oh, 
Whoa, okay. That fell down. Now we're going into back area. I'm just going to keep this cheese with me. Huh. This is a bit on the weird side. Well, let's see. Chitor. What? That, oh, 700, 800, what? <laughs> what? That? I just fell through the floor. Not being able to get there. And now we're at a thousand percent loading screen. Turn the alarm off because that's a bit annoying. Huh. I think we never did leave that area. Oh, yep. Still got Dream Soda. Let's check here. Yep. So this is still definitely a dream. Uh, red rooms? Hmm. Some doors are best left closed. I don't have fire alarms I can pull. <laughs> okay, I just took that door off of its hinges. Exit temporarily removed. Great. I'll just take this. Oh, wow. <laughs> yep. This is definitely mind bending. Hmm. Anything in the straw hit? No, nah, nothing. Used to it. Oh, uh, that's another weird. Oh, it's a hole. Oh, boy. Ooh, that's a fire alarm. Let's pull it. Okay, this is one of the object doors, so we can't bring that through there. Yep. We're still in the Stomina Sleep Lab, whatever it is. Wait, let's just keep let's just keep pointing around in circle. Yeah, it would have. Shrink this down a touch. Get this flat. Okay, can we climb up this? Yes, we can and get out of here. Hmm. Okay. I'll just grab this here. Need it a bit bigger. I need to get this much bigger. 
Wait, can we make use of this one here and place this down like so? Whew, got that just bounced. Oh, there's a hello. My name is Dr. Glenn Pierce, and I'd like to talk to you about being special. Really? So special, in fact. That we have no idea where you are. But not to worry. Hmm, you can't. We're working so on it. It. Was it meant to be an actual way out of there? Or was that the only way? Yeah, no, that seems to be a way out, so. Oh, that. Wait, can we open the stool here? I guess weird. Oh, let's continue on. Oh, another fire alarm. Let's pull it. Ah, oh, we've emptied the fire extinguisher there. Okay, so that's the exit there. We need some thing to be able to get up there. Oh, nice. Just getting in the right position. We've got a cube. Out of nothing. Okay, is this close enough? Can we jump up and through? Yeah! Simple enough. Ooh, fire alarm. Okay, this looks like the next exit there. Hmm. Wait, that's the base of a table right here, so if we get this just right, that table should appear, which should have the rest of the cube on here, like so, and we get a cube. Oh, fire alarm. Anything else? No. It's not an actual cube, it's just got... Okay. Well, I suppose that actually works out very easy to get out of there then. Hmm. It's only partially of an exit sign. So I think I need to get up somewhere. Yeah, it's going to have to be up there, which we can probably see part of it there, but. Wait, these weren't iron doors, so I can grab the cube yet again. And use that as a way to get up here. I think we've got enough space to make this jump over there. Yep. Perception is reality. Okay, that works. Cool. Um, let's just finish this bit off here. Which I think might be a good spot to call it the end soon here. Hello, my name is Dr. Glenn Pierce. Where am I? And I'm just popping in to give you a quick update on where you are. We still don't know, but please keep moving forward and hopefully you prefer frequent updates to being reminded that you are completely lost. Um, that's at least nice, nice that they're giving me, letting me know that they have no idea where I am. So that, I'm going to say thank you all for watching. If you liked what you see, then you can always comment, like, subscribe down below. And if you want to, you could also come join me over on my Discord or my Twitch. I stream every day over on twitch.tv slash expert12 every Monday through Friday. And that, thank you all again for watching. Have a wonderful day in the Sector 12. Signing out. See ya.